Well, there have been plenty of questions here in the county ranging about testing to the strategies that county officials are following to try to slow the rate of cases. So to help answer them, we spoke with county health official Dr. Jeffrey Leung. Dr. Leung, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Peter. Yesterday, the state announced changes to its testing strategies and laid out priorities on who and when to test. What does this mean for testing in Riverside County and exactly what changes can we expect? So the state did lay out four tiers of different groups uh, to prioritize for testing because we've seen that our testing capacity has been strained. And in that first tier, they talk about, you know, those who are hospitalized and, and those good. who are identified by contact tracers who may have been exposed to someone positive. And then each group has, has a different level of risk. Um, you know, the guidance is helpful because when we do not have unlimited uh, supplies, we, we need to figure out who to focus on first. Uh, in the short term in Riverside County, we, we still have been able to provide um, a very large number of appointments. Uh, to patients requesting uh, testing. So our hope is that we can continue to meet uh, that need. But if we find that we're consistently having challenges, uh, we may need to look at prioritizing the, the groups according to the tiers that the governor and the state have set out. The test positivity rate in the county recently reached as high as 20%, which is similar to what we saw in nearby Imperial County not too long ago. What are the reasons behind that? Now, we think the rising positivity rate uh, of between 16 to 20 percent is related to many of the changes over the past two months uh, associated with gradual reopening, increased movement, and probably most importantly, uh, increased social gatherings and informal gatherings. And most of the time, it, it tends to be with uh, those individuals that we trust the most, uh, family members or close friends, where we, uh, without realizing it, let down our guard. With the county having as many cases as it does right now, normally the doubling time would slow down, but instead it's, it's getting faster. Is this an alarm bell and what needs to happen to change this? Yeah, we do think this is a, a yellow flag and, and something that we need to give immediate attention. Um, even with making a big change, we know that uh, it, it takes a few weeks before we see you know, cases start to fall. Um, so I think this is uh, really an opportunity for our community to collectively, you know, think about what else can we do together so that we can turn around these uh, cases so that they're now uh, uh, declining within the next month. I'm curious, what trends have you noticed in positive cases in the county? Uh, similar to across the country and the state, we have seen a rise in younger people uh, uh, testing positive. And again, we, we see that as related to increased social gatherings um, that, that are not necessarily tied to restaurants or shopping centers or stores. Um, again, this is happening sort of uh, in backyards and homes uh, uh, at, in informal parties. Um, uh, and and that's, that's driving a lot of the increase that we see. Has the state been stepping up its enforcement and monitoring here in the county because of the rising numbers? So the state has uh, declared that uh, for any county that they feel like is not doing a good enough job with enforcement, um, that that county may be uh, subject to having uh, funding pulled for uh, coronavirus. Um, so I think all counties are uh, you know, very uh, hyper vigilant and trying to do the things that they can. Um, but the reality is um, sometimes behavior is actually very difficult to enforce or, or um, uh, to police. Um, you, you know, it, it's one thing if there's sort of an unauthorized large concert, you know, with uh, thousands of people gathering. Uh, it's another thing if it's an informal gathering between two households and, and maybe it's cousin and cousins and aunts and it's happening indoors and, and you, you know, not really um, uh, uh, publicly viewable by others. Um, and again, it's, it's many of those behaviors that, that are happening behind closed doors and that are not as obvious uh, that, that are probably driving this upward trajectory. Just yesterday, Eisenhower Health here in Rancho Mirage announced it will be getting help from the National Guard and FEMA at its hospital since the hospital is using virtually 100% of its staff available. Do you expect to see similar situations with federal medical teams arriving at other hospitals in the Coachella Valley? 
So we, we do think that overall across the county, we still have adequate hospital capacity. Um, uh, all of our hospitals are prepared to expand beyond normal ICU capacity. Uh, probably the, the biggest challenge that we're all facing is staffing. And so even if you have beds or, or you have space, you need to make sure that you have nurses and teams that can take care of uh, patients and especially in, you know, specialized areas like intensive care units. Um, we, we do see that as a, a rising challenge as all of the hospitals in our area are competing for the same, you know, additional uh, pools of, of temporary staffing uh, and, and hospitals across the state and, and even nationwide. Do you expect cases in the county to get worse as time goes on? And can we expect more shutdowns in the future? So with the recent dialing back uh, from the state, uh, we do expect that during the, the next month, we, we should start to see an improvement in cases. Um, but, but what we really hope for is to piggyback off of that change. We'd, we'd like to ask the community again to, to you know, do everything they, they can to work together so that we can bring the cases down as quickly as possible. If we can do that and show the state that we are safe, um, uh, then we're much more likely to be able to have the option to send our kids back to school in regular classrooms, uh, to uh, keep our businesses open, and, and to be able to have some certainty in our lives where we're able to plan uh, either for uh, scheduling a vacation or businesses are able to you know, plan for the appropriate staffing and, and hiring up in the fall. So do you anticipate more shutdowns? Our, we are staying optimistic. Uh, we believe that uh, here in our county, again, um, uh, asking everybody to help out together, uh, we do think we've got a, a window of opportunity right now to turn the cases around. And, and with that extra effort uh, from the community, you know, we are hopeful that, that you know, during the next month um, that we could see cases on a downward trend. All right, Dr. Leung, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Peter. The county says it is working with its lab vendors to make improvement in getting back test results sooner.